never would have thought my 100th video would be about TNA wrestling. But it is. It's about TNA wrestling, brother. Alright. So, what I want to get to is I'm not going to talk about uh, Impact itself. Uh, Impact tonight. I'm going to do something a little different. Um, I thought... The show overall, I thought was okay. You know, that was all right. You know, I thought last week was a little bit better, but you know, it wasn't. It was, you know, it did what it needed to do, build up, uh, and they actually went through the whole card. So it wasn't like I don't remember uh, Scott Steiner and Matt Morgan being on this card. You know what I mean? It's like they reminded you, like, oh yeah, so and so has this match and. It all started when so and so got an interference in so and so's match to screw him out of a title. This makes sense. So obviously TNA did a good thing there. Uh, thumbs up for TNA for that one for that move. So um, I guess you could say this is a preview video. Uh, I'm gonna run down the card. <clears throat> Thanks to TNA, it was easy to find the card. Uh, first we have Scott Steiner versus Matt Morgan. Um, now, Scott Steiner, why is this guy still in the company? Why? I mean, I know Freakzilla is, is still funny on the mic, I think. I find him hilarious. Uh, but, but why is he still there? I mean, the whole point of him being there was, you know, obviously to counter the main event mafia thing, which obviously didn't, couldn't happen because, you know, Booker T and later went to WWE and Kevin Nash did that one night thing. Uh, in the Royal Rumble match, so obviously that couldn't have happened. Uh, so, you know, obviously they're stuck with Scott Steiner right now. Yeah, I mean, Tommy Dreamer is already gone, so is McFoley. So, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Scott would be the next one to go, but um, overall in this match, I don't know. I mean, Scott Steiner, I don't think, has it anymore in the ring. You know, on Mike's skills, he's still funny, but you know, in the ring, you know, Matt Morgan. What happened to this guy? This guy was like supposed to be pushed to the max, the future of TNA. All of a sudden, TNA just dropped the bomb ball on this guy. It's like, wow, we rarely even see him anymore. So yeah, then we have Samoa Joe versus Crimson. We have both these guys. Um, you know, Crimson's the undefeated guy. Samoa Joe, he's been there, done that. He's been, you know, the top dog, trying to, you know, catch the unbeaten streak. So, um, first of all, I like Samoa Joe heel. You know, I like the Samoa Joe heel better than a face for some weird reason. You know, it's Joe, he has that attitude. He goes with the good that I don't give a crap what you think of me. Um, I do what I want, when I want, you know, that sort of deal. I like that side of Joe. I like that thing that's a good side. Um, and they're, they're pushing Crimson, which is good. So, they're not only are they giving Samoa Joe something to do after that Pope D'Angelo De Niro feud... Uh, you know, they're giving something Crimson to do, and Crimson is the future, I think, of TNA. He's one of the bright young stars that uh, TNA has to offer. I think they're doing a good job of uh, pushing him, and I honestly expect him to win at uh, Slammiversary. Then we have Angelina Love versus Mickey Jeans for the Knockouts title. Now, I know TNA is still doing this whole... Got some eye. Uh, this whole lesbian, creepy, I've... We've been together another lifetime couple thing with Angelina Love and Winter, and it's, you know, it's, I think it needs to go soon, you know, the fact that Angelina, to me, in my opinion, um, she's, she's very good, I think, talented in the ring. You don't put her in that gimmick, she's very, very, very good. I'm not saying she's good, not good, but I'm saying that, you know, without it, you know, when she was in Beautiful People, I think she was good, you know, she was bitchy, whatever, and she was talented in the ring, you know, she could put on a pretty good match um but ever since she's been with winter this whole thing is making her slow in the ring yes it's making her more aggressive and it's interesting to see i like her new finisher but it's just i don't know something odd about it in my opinion but don't get me wrong this should be a good match i mean we all know how good mickey james is and good angelina is and it's for the knockouts title so this could be a good match i mean this looks better than what was it mickey james versus madison rain we had that how many times was that shoved down our throats so yeah this should be a good match. Uh, Mickey will probably retain, most likely. So, yeah. Then we have the British Invasion versus James Storm and Alex Shelley. Now, I know James Storm and Alex Shelley, they had miscommunication tonight against Mexican America. 
Um, you know, Shelley kicked James Storm in the face by accident, and then James Storm got pinned. But, you know, it should be good. I mean, both these guys, we all know Alex Shelley, how good he was with, you know, Chris Sabin, the Motor City Machine Guns, James Storm, how good he is with uh, Bobby Roode. I'm getting used to saying that. Of Beer Money. Yes, Joe's show. Beer Money is the name of a tag team. Uh, and how good the British Invasion worked together. Doug Williams and... Um, God, what's his name? Doug Williams. And Brutus Magnus. So, yeah. This should be a good match. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if British Invasion win. And, yeah, I wouldn't, kind of wouldn't be surprised if you know James Storm actually won. So, it should be a good match either way. And... Yeah. Should be expecting. Should be a good match. Uh, then we get. I'm telling you, this card does not look too bad. Uh, Bully Ray versus AJ Styles, Last Man Standing. Um, now here's the thing with AJ Styles. I know it's Bully Ray. You know they go, oh, Bully Ray. He's old. He needs to retire. Blah blah. Here's the thing with AJ. AJ can make anyone good in a match. He is the phenomenal AJ Styles for a reason. He can make anyone look good in a match. And I think this is a prime example. He can make you look good in a match. And it's last man standing. So obviously we're going to see chairs, you know, probably like a candlestick, a trash can. You know a table is going to be involved just because of the whole fact that Bully Ray put AJ Styles through a table off the stage. So, you know, that's going to be probably a factor into it. So, you know, it should be a good match. Uh, AJ most likely going to win being the face, you know. So yeah, should be a good match. And we got Jeff Jarrett versus Kurt Angle. The number one contendership is on the line. Not only that, but Kurt Angle is gold medal. Yeah, because how many times have people gone out of after freaking Kurt Angle's gold medal? Stone Cold Steve Austin, the list just goes on. Um, so yeah, this should be good. Good match. Uh, and I think it's good. It's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. There's not going to be no Karen Jarrett involved. Uh, you know. So, it should be, like I said, good, man. I like the promo they had with each other. It was short and sweet. You know, even Kurt said, I'm not going to go here and waste my breath. You know, the, the blood is on your hands. And, you know, the fact that he likes the fact that he doesn't have to deal with Karen. But that is he that she is the mother of his two children. And, yeah. So, yeah. Like I said, good match. This should be. I'm talking backwards. Should be a good match. Um, Kurt should get over, but... There's something in the back of my mind that's reading Jeff Jarrett still winning no matter what. Like I'm 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 picturing a screw job. I don't know why. You know, and the fact that he said Earl Hebner. How does he know Earl Hebner is gonna referee that match? It could be his son, whatever, refereeing that match. How does he know that? See? That's a hint right there. Um and last but not least, the TNA World Rate Championship match. Mr. Anderson. Anderson versus the icon Sting for the TNA and Walter Reed Championship. Uh, TNA is just showing more and more that it is a possibility of Sting versus Hulk Hogan for the TNA Walter Reed Championship. And if that wasn't a hint tonight, I don't know what is the fact that Sting said, I want to slap you in the face, and it looked like they were going to get in a brawl, Sting and Hogan. Uh, so. Anyway, back to this match. This match itself shouldn't be too bad. I mean, hopefully Sting can go longer than seven freaking goddamn minutes in a match. If that's the case, I think everything should be hunky-dory. Uh, I think Mr. Anderson is talented. Uh, do I think he's become the uh, new World Heavyweight Champion at Slammiversary? It's a possibility, but I still have the back of my mind that Sting is still going to be a World Heavyweight Champion. Don't know why. Uh... I'm not going to blame Vince Russo because I don't know if it's really Vince Russo's booking in that situation. If it is, didn't you learn anything from WCW? WWE just came out the Nitro DVD, which I plan on getting. Uh, so, yeah, I see Sting still becoming, still being the TNA World Heavyweight Champion. So, yeah. I wonder what you guys think of Slammiversary. If you've been paying attention to Slammiversary. And, um, that's about it. Peace and one thing and one thing only. I love Olive Garden.